So this drug, ocrelizumab, is the first drug that got approved for a progressive phase of MS, but for primary progressive patients. And I think at this point, we're excited about it, but it, the results were not like blockbuster results, but it is better than anything else we've tested to date. Since we have no drugs available for primary progressive MS, we feel that this is really, you know, a, a first kind of foot in the door in this progressive phase, and we will, there's a, in addition to that, there's another trial that completed phase three um, for patients with secondary progressive MS called saponamod, which also showed some benefit for patients with the progressive phase of the disease. Um, so we're starting to get into the conversation. Um, we have to address whether or not those effects are more related to the fact that they tend to ha have benefits on the inflammatory phase. How can we better control the non-inflammatory progressive phase? Is it only going to be prevention, meaning that we have to aggressively manage the progressive phase of the disease by preventing the inflammatory phase of the disease? problem is primary progressive patients you don't know that they have an inflammatory state because by the time you're seeing them they're already progressive <coughs> for the relapsing phase you know that they're having attacks so if you can shut that down you might be able to kind of push off that secondary progressive phase this is what we're currently trying to address with the different therapeutics there's some interesting work coming out of um, a compound called biotin that may have some benefit with progressive patients. Um, that drug works primarily by um, energy metabolism in cells and that may be a major contributor to the slow progressive deterioration because the demand on a cell may be greater as there is damage and giving them kind of like fuel to actually allow the function of the cell to be better may actually be protective or you know therapeutic in that regard so that's an interesting piece going on and a couple of other compounds that are in early phases of looking at remyelination and things like that but I think that you know uh, it's a first foot in the door so far and then hopefully you know over the next decade or so we'll come up with more effective strategies